in your prayers, to help you in your intercession, to help you in your supplications and petitions unto God. And today's prayer nugget is found in 2 Thessalonians 3, 1 and 2. Let us read. It says, Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may have free course and be glorified even as it is with you. Finally, my brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may have free course and be glorified even as it is with you. And that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men, for all men have not faith. This was the prayer that uh, Paul the Apostle, Apostle Paul, was asking the Thessalonians to pray for him that the word of the Lord would have free course. The word, the free course. We need to pray for freedom in the spirit, liberation in the spirit, liberations in your marriage, liberation. We need to, we need the word of the Lord to have free course in your marriage, free course on your job, free course in your ministry, free course in your family, free course on your job, free course in the church, free course. So he was praying for to ask him for, he was soliciting prayers. Say, please pray for me that the word of the Lord will have free course. And then he went on to say that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men. Now, he wasn't talking about people so much, but the spirit behind the unreasonable man, the spirit behind the the the, the uh, wicked, unreasonable person, that's the one we're talking to today. We're going to do some, do some spiritual warfare. The Bible tells us that flesh and blood, we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. But against principalities, against powers, against the ruler of darkness of this world. It is time to pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, we give you glory tonight, oh God. We give you all the praise. Father God, we worship you and praise you and adore you, oh God. You are worthy to be praised, oh God. You are worthy to be thanked. You are worthy to be worshipped, oh God. Thank you for this privilege to pray, God. We don't come in no form or fashion. We don't come in no certain kind of way. God, your word says it is not by might, no by power, oh God, but by your spirit. So we coming in, God, the best way need we know how asking you first of all before we do anything before we pray anything before we say anything father god we ask you to, oh god to forgive us of our sins cleanse us from all unrighteousness oh god wash us and purge us oh god from all unrighteousness purge our minds god purge our souls god purge our spirits god in the name of jesus father god we need you today we don't come and act like we know how to pray or we know we are intercessor or we've been a minister for so long so we know the protocol to pray. We never come in all, all, all arrogant and, and, and prideful. We come in asking the Holy Spirit, the great intercessor of the great intercessor among us Father God we come asking the intercessor the great intercessor the Holy Spirit to come help us to pray Father God we need your presence we need your anointing oh God it is the anointing that removes burdens oh God and destroys yokes oh God we need the Holy Ghost we need Holy Ghost power you said all power has been given unto Jesus and at the name of Jesus every knee bows and every tongue confesses that Jesus Christ is Lord we need the power we need the power of the Holy Ghost. The Bible says, oh God, they say, you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And we will be witnesses unto you in Jerusalem and Judea and to the uttermost parts of the world. Father God, we ask it for the power of the Holy Ghost uh, to hide us in our weaknesses, to uh, hide us in our frailties. The God, God, your word says in Romans 8, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh, that sometimes we don't know how to pray for as we are, uh, but the Holy Ghost, the great intercessor, the great one, the comfort of the standby. He comes to help us in our infirmities so we may pray the perfect will of God. Father God, we thank you, oh God. We receive the power. We receive the anointing, oh God, to pray. We don't want to pray our own words, our own thoughts, our own inclinations, God. We need you. We letting you know that we need you. Sometimes we don't take out the time to let me know. We, but we let you know we need you, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, we give you praise. Father God, we give you glory, oh God, and honor, oh God, and blessings. Now, Lord God, we take authority over any spirit that will try to hinder this broadcast. They hinder our prayers, hinder our intercessions, hinder our petitions, hinder, oh God, our supplications. Anything that will try to hinder us. God, like we prayed today, the word, that the word of the Lord will have free 
course. Father God, you said in your word that you came to set the captives free, oh God, in the name of Jesus. So I'm praying right now for every intercessor. I'm praying for every preacher, every teacher. Father God, I'm praying for every apostle, every prophet. I'm praying for the evangelists. I'm praying for everyone in ministry. I'm praying for every sister, every brother in the church, every saint, every Christian that in our lives, oh God, in the name of Jesus, we want free course, God. We tired of the blockages. We tired of the hindrances, God. We tired of the limitations. Uh, today, we declare and decree, God, that we will have free course, uh, free course in our lives, God, free course in our marriages, oh God, free course in ministry, just free course. You said, Lord God, he that is led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Father God, the sons of God is praying to you today. Father God, you said we are the sons of God. In the name of Jesus, oh God. You said, now are we the sons of God and it does not appear what we shall be. Will we know them? Will we see you, Lord God? That we will be just like you. In the name of Jesus. All your sons all over the land. All your daughters all over the land is praying, God. In this evil time. These are the last days, oh God. It's wickedness all around us, God. In the name of Jesus. It's wickedness in the north. It's wickedness in the south, God. It's wickedness in the east and the west. It's wickedness all over the land. And Father God, it's Somebody don't pray, God. We're not going to make it, God. We don't take out the time to pray. Father God, thank you for the privilege to come on the internet today. Somebody's watching. Somebody's joining in. I don't know where they might be. They might be just in the city of Cleveland. They might be in Euclid, oh God. They might be somebody across the waters, God. They might be somebody in Africa that logged on. Maybe even they thought they made a mistake and, and they just logged on, to, logged on, but it wasn't a mistake, oh God. It was divine ordinance. It was divine providence. That all over the land, somebody in Alaska might be logging on today. I'm going to pray with that sister. I don't know her name. I don't know who she is, but I sense the power of God in the in the atmosphere. Father God, we thank you that the word of the Lord will have free course in the atmosphere. In the atmosphere in our churches, oh God, I come against the spirit of depression and oppression over your people, oh God. We bind oppression. We bind it in the name of Jesus. We bind the spirit of sorrow. We bind it in the name of Jesus. We bind the suicide that spirit that will try to come against your people. The word of the Lord will have free course. Uh, in the name of Jesus, we come against everything that's coming against your people, oh God. We come against the spirit of loneliness and sadness, oh God. My Bible tells me that the joy of the Lord is our strength. My Bible tells me that a merry heart does good like a medicine. My Bible tells me to rejoice in the Lord always and again, that's I say rejoice. Hallelujah. That's what the Bible says, oh God, that we can have joy. We don't got to walk around, oh Oppressed and depressed. We don't gotta walk around in suppression and repression. We don't gotta walk around in sadness and sorrow and grief when we can have joy. So, Father God, you said you you gotta take authority. You can't let the enemy run over you. You can't let the enemy run roughshod in our homes, roughshod in our families, roughshod in the church, roughshod amongst our children, roughshod in our finances, roughshod, roughshod. He can't just run roughshod. He will continue to run roughshod in our families and our lives when we don't take authority. Jesus, you died that we could take authority. You did not mean for us to live subservient lives, poverty-stricken lives, sad lives. We live it underneath our means, oh God. So God, we're going to use the authority. Jesus died that we can have authority. He died and rose again from the dead that we might have authority. He says in his word in the book of Luke, he says, I've given you power uh, over, over, over all unclean spirits. I've given you power over serpents and over scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Father God, you gave us power over all the power of the enemy. All. My, I looked at the word all one time, Father God, and that word all means all. So that means anything and everything the enemy would try to do, God, in the name of Jesus. He can't do it when we bind him. So we bind the enemy. We bind powers in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you, Lord. God. We thank you, Lord God, that we can lose the freedom of God, lose the peace of God, lose the joy of God, lose the peace of God. Yes, peace. You said, peace I leave you. My word, my peace I give unto you. Not as the world give, give unto you. You said, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. We lose peace today. You said, he that keeps his mind stayed on me will be in perfect peace, oh God. We leave peace today, God. You said, you ordain for us peace. Peace for your people. Peace in our homes. Peace in our jobs, God. Peace all over the land. Peace amongst your people, oh God. We declare and decree peace. We thank you that we know Jesus Christ. He is the Prince of Peace. So we, re we receive the peace. 
We receive the peace. You have not given us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. Somebody needs today. I don't know who you are today. You've been going through some challenges in your mind. The enemy's been coming against your mind. But God is saying today, you need to lay hands on your own head. Lay hands on your own head and speak peace, peace over your mind. Peace, peace in your soul. Peace in the name of Jesus. And you'll watch that spirit of confusion leave. My Bible tells me that God is not the author of confusion, but he's the author of peace today. So you receive the peace. So you have to receive it. It's already done, but you have to receive the peace in the name of Jesus. Father God, I come against that spirit of suicide amongst our young, some young girls. I, it's about, it's a few of them all over the land. They, 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 they're, they're located in different areas of the city, but they're comp contemplating suicide. Life is a little bit too hard. Life is a little bit too hard for them going through school and trying to fit in with the crowd and trying to, trying to fit in with the, having all this peer pressure. I come against the spirit of peer pressure and suicide amongst the young people especially amongst young girls I come against that they want to fit in with the crowd they want to be the popular one oh they want to they want they want to fit in with the with the with the, with the, with the cheerleaders and the ones that so that seems to be so popular but I come against their spirit right now and I command their spirit right now the spirit of suicide to loose our young girls loose it right now trying to fit into a certain body image the the, word, the enemy gives them a body image in a certain way they're supposed to look a society in the media tells them you're supposed to be a size 8, a size 7. Your hair is supposed to be like this. You're supposed to look like this. You're supposed to sound like this. You're supposed to have a certain thing. But I come against the spirit of peer pressure. In the name of Jesus, which leads a lot of times to the spirit of suicide. I come against it in the name of Jesus. And I command the enemy to loose our young girls. Use our youth right now in the name of Jesus. Oh God, you loose. He will have to loose our youth in Jesus' name. I come against the spirit of gang violence amongst the youth right now in the name of Jesus. Oh God, right now I come against that violent spirit. I come against a strong man. I spoil his goods in the name of Jesus. Father God, you said no weapon formed against us will prosper. And I decree and declare in the name of Jesus, oh God, that no weapon formed against our young people will prosper. Every tongue risen against them in judgment. I condemn it. We condemn it right now. This is our heritage as a servant of the Lord. Our righteousness is of you, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, I pray right now. In the name of Jesus, that the word of the Lord will have free course. There will be freedom amongst your people. Now, Father God, we pray for the leaders of the church, oh God. I pray for every pastor, oh God. Every diabolical assignment against our every pastor, every apostle, every evangelist, every teacher, every, every everyone in the fivefold ministry gifts. Everything, every wicked plot against them, I come against it. We come against it right now. We bind the powers of the enemy. We command the enemy to loose their minds, loose their souls. Loose their spirit, man. Loose their finances. Loose their jobs. Loose their homes. Loose their marriages. Loose their loose. Loose everything about them in the name of Jesus. We pray right now for freedom in the pastorship, freedom in the apostleship, freedom in the evangelistics, free freedom in the teachers and the and, and all those that are in leaders. Oh God, we come against the come against every demon power that will come against every elder, every teacher. In the church, oh God, every deacon, oh God. In other words, we, we command the enemy to loose our leadership, that they may go forth and have free course in their ministry. Father God, you told me to pray for something very unique. I never heard it till you told. You said sometimes we need to pray against witchcraft in the pews. Mm -mm. Sometimes there's witchcraft right in our church. We ain't got to be looking for a witch on a broom. We ain't got to be looking for a witch with a pointed hat. With a long chin, there's sometimes witchcraft right in the pews. How is that, Father God? You told me sometimes when the preacher stands up to preach the gospel, the people sit, sit in the pews and they lock up on them. That means they lock something they're saying, the preacher is saying, Father God, something the teacher is saying, the prophet is saying, they don't like it, so they lock their spirit. And when a person locks their spirit, it binds up the spirit of the Lord. It binds the spirit in the sanctuary. It binds the flow. It binds the flow, free flow of the word of God. It binds it. So if everybody, if people in this congregation is locking up on God, locking up on a preacher, because their favorite preacher might not be preaching, so they lock up on them. Their favorite psalmist is not singing, so they lock up on the psalmist. Their favorite, the, the favorite 
an intercessor is not praying, so they lock up on them. Oh God, oh God, loose us from the spirit of divination and witchcraft, because that's what it is when we rebel and block the flings of God. Father God, when we block and we lock up on the preacher, we're not locking up on the preacher, we're locking up on the spirit of God. That means that spirit right then, that spirit of divination and witchcraft is in direct opposition, and they're direct opposition against the spirit of God. Father God, sometimes they do it unknowingly. I'm sure they don't think that they're operating in divination, Father God. I'm sure they don't think they're operating in witchcraft when they lock up on the ministry that's you that you put before them. See, God, they didn't appoint themselves. They didn't, it's not a self-appointed preacher, a self-appointed apostle, a self-appointed prophet, a self-appointed teacher. That's the spirit of the living God. You chose them before the foundation of the world, Father God. You chose them, oh God, in the name of Jesus, like you chose Jeremiah. To Jeremiah, I called you before the foundation of the world. You chose them, oh God, before they was in their mother's womb. Yes, God, you chose them, God. So when they stand up before the most holy people to do the most holy service, oh God, and, and the congregation locks up against them. They're not locking up against the man. They're locking up against God. Father God calls them to receive the truth and repent, God. You said, my people will call by my name if they just humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways. You said, you will hear from heaven and forgive their sin and heal the land. Sometimes the they do it ignorantly. You said, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Let us not be Christian witches. Uh-oh. Let us not be Christian di di diviners that we lock up against the things of God. Let us have a free course. Remember what we pray today, God. I'm bringing this word back before you, Father God. It says, finally, my brother, pray for us that the word of the Lord may have free course and be glorified even as is with you. God, we don't, we don't want spiritual Christian riches and Christian div diviners in the house of the living God. This is, this thing should not be in the name of Jesus. We claim free course in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father God, we come against anything that will come against Oh, oh God, the finances of your people, oh God. You said you we said we need money to fund the church. We need monies in our homes. We need monies for our business. We need money for the ministries. Father God, I come against the spirit of lack. You said in your word, oh God, that you have not given us lack, oh God. You said you've given us wealth, oh God. You said you said Jesus became poor that we might become rich. Father God, we don't we're not we're not serving a poor God. Father God, you're not sitting in heaven in in, the, in with the welfare land. There's not a welfare land in heaven. Come on, there's not food stamps in heaven. You you not you not you not a poor God. And you are our father. Our father with y'all in heaven. If you are not poor, we ain't gotta remain poor. Oh God, I come against that poverty stricken mindset. Poverty is a mindset. I come against the mindset of poverty. Father God, we 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 are the we are the rich in the name of Jesus. You said in your word, Father God, in your word, oh God, that you want us to prosper. And be in health even as our soul prospers. Our soul has to prosper before we can prosper in the spirit. We prosper, our soul prospers first. Then, then the natural will see the prosperity. If we got a poverty stricken mindset, there's a poverty stricken life. If we got a, we got a poor mindset, there's a poorer life. And a lot of times, Father God, the poorness is in our mouth. We got a poor mouth. We speak poverty. I, I ain't going to never make it. I ain't going to never. I got to rob Peter to make Paul. I, ends just, I'm trying to make ends meet. Father God, ends were not never made to meet. Father, we got to stop talking poverty and thinking poverty so we can walk in our wealth. God, we can't wait no longer. Some of us in, are in the latter, second half of our lives. We're 50 and older. We, we're in the second half of our lives. We ain't got a lot of time to play around and and, and have be and be poor and can't do what you want us to do. We need monies to do the will of God. <coughs> Excuse me. We need monies to do the will of God. We need monies for ministry. So God, right now, I thank you, Lord God, that we have taken authority over the spirit of poverty in the church. So God, you said, impress God. We don't want to. We don't want to be a God robber. Father God, you said in your word at Malachi, bring you all the tithes into the storehouse and prove me now herewith and see when I open unto you the windows of heaven <coughs> and pour you out a blessing that you have not room enough to receive. You said that you will rebuke the divine for our sake. So, Father God, I'm praying for 100% tithe givers all over the land. In the name of Jesus, all over the land, Father God. All over the land, I'm praying for tithers, oh God. But that's that, that's our link. Because when we are tithers, oh God, you said you rebuke the divine for our sake. 
A lot of times we get monies and we lose it. It's like monies in our pockets with holes in it because we're robbing you. Father, when we rob you, we can't prosper. <coughs> Excuse me. When we rob you, God, we, we we can't we can't succeed. When we rob you, we will never have wealth. When we rob you, we will always be poor, always be bankrupt, always be in the welfare land, always, oh God, we always be we always be underneath. God, you made us to be the head and not the tail on the top and not the bottom. You call us to be somebody in Christ. You want us to have wealth. God, we're not serving a poor God. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus wasn't poor. Come on, somebody. The apostles wasn't poor back in the days of old. They was poor. They was businessmen. They were fishermen. They were tax collectors. They were lawyers. They they had money. They wasn't just following Jesus in poverty. They were they were rich. They had money. Believe me, they had money. So God, we declare and decree that wealth and riches come back to the church. <coughs> in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we give you glory, oh God, and honor, oh God. Father God, we love you today. We give you the praise. We give you the glory, oh God. <coughs> we give you the honor, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. And I take authority right now of everything trying to choke the word out of my mouth. I lay hands on my own, I lay my hands on my own throat. And I say free course in my words. Father, I free course to deliver this prayer, oh God, in the name of Jesus. You said, so shall your our word be. They go forth out of our mouth. They will not return into us void, but it will accomplish what we please and props into the thing to where we send it. We send in the word. Now, Father God, we're praying for the health of your people. Father God, we come against every diabolical sickness and every diabolical disease that has, has been unleashed against your people. We come against the spirit of high blood pressure. We speak to the blood pressure of your people to come down right now in the name of Jesus. Father God, we come against every kind of heart ailment, every kind of heart disease. We come against cardiovascular heart diseases. Father God, we speak to the hearts of your people to be whole, to be healed in the name of Jesus. Restore their vows and their heart, oh God. You said in your word, God, Jesus said, I took infirmities. I bore sickness and diseases and with your stripes we are healed today father god i speak to everyone that had that had past tense had a heart problem that you are reversing the curse sickness and diseases are curse jesus says in galatians i became a curse for you curse it is every man that hangeth on a tree jesus became a curse so we don't have to take the curse sickness, sickness is a curse disease is a curse so we praying that we are link up with the one that <coughs> we link up with the one that took the curse. Jesus said, I became a curse. Father God, so we thank you, Lord God, that you are healing our bodies as even as we speak. We are the healed today, right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus. I come against all, come against sugar diabetes. I speak to the blood sugar levels of your people to be normal. I speak to, I pray right now the next time that we go to the doctor to get our blood panels checked, that our cholesterol will be normal and it'll be great. It'll be flourishing. Oh God, our HDLs and our LDLs will be normal. They'll be great, God, in the name of Jesus. We speak of the glucose levels that will be normal, oh God. We, we think, of, oh God, that the, metab the metabolic syndrome in your people will be rectified by the power of God. Heals by the power of God. Sugar diabetes reversed. You reversed the curse, God. Sugar diabetes is being reversed right now in the name of Jesus. That person that's in a coma, I speak to that one that laying in that bed in, in Cleveland Clinic right now that's in a coma. I say, come live. Just like you rose loud from the dead, I come, I speak to that body right now. I speak to him right now. That man is in a coma. I speak to him right now and I say, rise up in the name of Jesus. Rise up. Jesus says, I'm the resurrector. Jesus is the resurrection and the life. He said, I am the resurrection and the life. Whosoever believeth in me won't perish to have everlasting life. So I speak to that one that has this inner coma to be resurrected out of that coma in the name of Jesus. The same power that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in us. Father God, we give you praise, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, we love you today. We praise you today. We give you all the worship that is due unto your name. We bless your holy name, God. We honor your presence. In your presence, O oh God, is fullness of joy. And at your right hand, there are pledges forevermore. O oh God, we say, be pleased with us, O oh God. Father God, I pray right now that you will help. You begin to work on our souls. Work on our souls, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Work on our souls, Father God. Every character trait in us. That's not of you. Every person, everything in us is not of you. God, we pray that you begin to dig it out. Because we know, oh God, when our character traits are are are, are, are 
are, are being rectified in our, in our character. I'm praying for character amongst your people. I'm praying for integrity amongst your people, oh God, that we have integrity and we have character in our marriages, character, integrity in our homes, in our families, in our jobs, on our vocations, in the church, in our ministries. We're praying for, we, we praying for integrity and character traits to be rectified and corrected, oh God. We, we, we don't want to be a Jacob. Jacob was a supplanter, a deceiver, a, a, he, 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 a manipulator. We don't want to be manipulative. We come against manipulation amongst your people. We come and lift the spirit of deception and, 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 and everything that's done out of discretion. In other words, God, we ask you to purge our hearts, oh God. We be like David said, create, create in us a clean heart, oh God, and renew a right spirit within us. <clears throat> create in us a clean heart, oh God, and renew a right spirit within us oh god we actually to god to work in our hearts god we know when we get our heart right our lives go right when we get our heart right oh god our ministry will go right when we get our heart right marriages go right when our hearts are clean and pure and purified it's not unto us oh god it's not unto us but unto your name give glory oh god in the name of jesus christ father god you say you say you are perfect that what concerns us and we are confident of this very thing that he that begun a good work in us you're going to complete it into the day of jesus christ we thank you oh god today that we are on the potter's wheel we thank you oh god that we are the clay and you are the potter and we are on the potter's wheel today, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And you are working on us, God. You are working on our character. You are working on us, God. You are working on our minds. You are working on our souls. Father God, we don't want to come off of that wheel until you say complete. We don't want to come off of that wheel. We know sometimes, God, that we are marred in the hands of the potter. We know sometimes, oh God, that we are we have blemishes, oh God, and we have things in our lives that's not pleasing. But we don't have to worry about that because you said that good work I began in you. You said you will complete it, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, we thank thank you and we praise you oh God and we glorify your name and we magnify your name we know when it's all said and done Jesus you say I'm coming back I'm coming back for a church without spot or wrinkle so we know when it's all said and done God we're going to be purified purged people and you are doing that you are in the midst of us you are in the midst of us cleaning us up God we thank you for that we thank you for be, being purged vessels today and we thank you Lord God for the power of prayer you said Lord God to be anxious for nothing, but by everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will keep your heart and mind through Jesus Christ. Father God, we give you glory, O God, and honor. In the name of Jesus. Father God, we thank you, Lord God. We'll be, we'll be, we'll be like Jesus. Jesus, said, Father God, you always hear us when we pray. Father God, you always hear us when we suppl make supplications and petitions, when we come to you with a clean and clean hands. You say, Who shall ascend before the Lord? Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? And who shall stand in his holy place? But that man, that woman that got clean hands and a pure heart, who have not lifted up their soul into vanity nor sworn deceitfully, this man shall see the Lord. Father God, we thank you, Lord God, that you've heard our prayers and we look at for the answer, God. We have expectation. We know, God, when we pray, you, you are answering, God. You hear our prayers. You are answering, God. You're the God that heareth prayer. You hear with the prayer of the righteous. You hear with the prayer of your people. You hear with the prayer of the mothers that that's in distress. You hear the prayers, God. You always hear the prayers. You hear the prayer of that one right now that's sad and lonely and, they're, and they're all by themselves. You hear the prayers of the righteous, God. You hear the prayers of that widow that just lost her husband. You hear the prayers. You hear the prayers of that lonely one. You hear the prayers of that one right now that's being abused by their by their siblings. God, we come against the spirit of incest right now. That young girl has been abused and sexually molested by her older brother. We curse you, Satan. We bind you, Satan. You have no authority. We block you. We bind you. We curse you right now. In the name of that young girl will go free. Father God, you hear her prayers. You hear her prayers when she cries out in the night season. You hear her prayers on her bed when she lays there abused. After the abuse, and she cries in her pillow. She cries in her pillow. I don't know who you are, young girl. But you, God, God got me praying for you today. You won't have to suffer that incest longer. God says he put a stop to it, into it. Satan, we bind you. We stop you right now, dead in your tracks. Father God, we thank you for loosening that young girl. Matter of fact, you said, Satan, we rebuke you. Matter of fact, the Lord 
Lord rebukes you right now. Young lady, you're going to be free. He's going to give you beauty for ashes. I don't know who you are, young girl. Hallelujah. God's going to give you beauty for ashes. Hallelujah. No more incest. No more. No more abuse. No more. God put it into it. He stopped it by. He stopped his. God stopped. He sent me today. I don't know if I might. My, my prayer might not be good for nobody today, but my prayer is good for you, young lady. Young, young child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you've been crying now. You're asking. You mean no, no one saw, saw your plight. You say, does anybody see what's going on? Does anybody know? But God, the Father knows, young lady. The Father knows your, 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 your plight. And he come, he stepped in today. He stepped in today on this broadcast, on the prayer connection. And he put it into somebody like me, a nobody. I might not be nobody great, nobody, no big name. But he put it in my heart to pray for you. You don't have to suffer any longer, young lady. Oh, God, just, 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 just lift up your hands right now. Right now where you are. Right now where you're watching this broadcast. And tell God, thank you. Tell God, thank you for sending somebody to pray for you. And the prayers of the righteous are very much. The prayers of the righteous will set the captives free. You are free today. You are free today. I don't know, you can, You might can't trust nobody right now, but God's going to give you back your trust. I know your rose petal was crushed, but God's going to give you back your beauty. He's going to give you beauty for ashes, young lady. I don't know your name, but God knows your name, and he called you by name today. Oh, just lift up your hand, young lady. It's going to be all right. God loves you, baby. He loves you, sweetie. You're not alone, baby girl. I don't know who you are. Oh, God loves you today. He loves you so much, and he came. He sent me today just to nobody, no big name, no big, no, just to pray for you. Hallelujah. He going to give you your joy back, baby. Hallelujah. He going to give you your joy back. It's going to be all right in the name of Jesus. Oh, my God. Father God, I thank you. And I praise you. Oh, God, thank you for setting her free. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. In the name of Jesus. When you pray, you never know what God might use you to pray. You have to be linked up with the Holy Spirit, and he will give you what to pray. He'll put on your heart who to pray for or what. You might not even know them, like just like we experienced just now. I didn't know that young lady, but God put on my heart to pray for her, and she is setting the captive free in the name of Jesus. So, well, saints, today we're ending the broadcast on the prayer connection. Where you make a connection with God. Yes, we are just summing up today on the prayer connection. Where you make a connection with heaven. See you next time. Bye-bye.